Well, let's get to it, man. It's 935 K this morning. Show your boy Romeo on the west side, but in ATL, Georgia, it's an amazing family down there that the love, that the people just love to see. And thanks to We TV, we get to see you. Trina Tawanda, what up? Hey. Yeah, what's up? So, Katie Nation may not know, before we started rolling, uh, we were having a conversation because, Trina, you know, you and Vaughn every week, y'all do some cooking in the kitchen. It goes viral. So, you know, I asked Tawanda who was the better cook, and Tawanda, you said who was between you and Trina. I didn't, I, you see, see, you didn't specify. You said who's better cook, and I said my mama. Okay. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. My okay, mama, mama got that number one spot, but between you two, That's come on. Number one spot. It de- well, it depends. I fry chicken better. Trina fries, I mean, she cooks, cooks, cooks. Okay. She cooks and bakes better. But I have certain situations that I cook better. Mm. The fried chicken is absolutely amazing, though, by the way. Okay, okay. Bring that restaurant back. Bring that restaurant back. Bring that restaurant back so I can eat the food. So that I can eat the food. So, look, KD Nation, this is what we're seeing on TV, man. It's going down every week. Thank you all for tapping in. Look, it, was a, it was a little gap before you guys were back on. How excited yeah. were you to be back on doing this, just sharing your story with the world, the good and the bad with it, you know what I mean? Well, at first, first it was important for us to do it because Tracy wanted us to do the show mm-hmm. and to tell her story. And then it was important for us to allow the fans that has been – doing this journey with us with the Braxton family values and now with the Braxtons that they were able to grieve and go through the grieving process with us because everybody loves Tracy. Everybody loves yes. her. You know, she's a part of our family and she was also a part of everyone else's. Um, she was like the sister that made everybody laugh, you know, mm-hmm. or the auntie that made everybody laugh that, you know, that that embraced everyone with love. So it was just important for us to do this show. Yeah. And and I'm I'm glad you guys did share that because that episode that, that was that was hard for a lot of people. But you know me yeah. knowing you guys so off the yeah. air, knowing the things that you went through during that time. I was praying for you. I was yeah. speaking with Vaughn every day about the situation. So thank you for sharing that. But you guys hold nothing back, and that's what I love about the Braxtons. It's like you're gonna give us all of this. And how oh. easy is it for y'all to do that? Because I almost feel like y'all forget cameras even rolling. You know what I mean? Well, we are a true family. You know what I mean? We have our ups, we have our downs, we have our laughter. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes, the, you know, the, the great thing about us being with WeTV is it's easy for us to forget that there are cameras because we've been with them for over 150 episodes now at this point. Yeah. So yeah. them being a yeah. part of our family, it's just like business as usual. <laughs> it's just another day. You know what I mean? So, uh the great thing is that we forget the cameras are around. The bad thing is that we forget the cameras are around. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's bittersweet, but it, it's absolutely, it's an amazing situation because one of the things about, you know, us being able to be our true selves is the fact that now that we are in this new series of the Braxton's as opposed to Braxton family values is yes. we get to reflect on Braxton family values mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. we get to see those situations with our sister, Tracy. We get to relive yeah. those happy moments. We get yeah. to relive those sad moments. We get to relive those mm-hmm. angry moments, but we get to see her as yeah. often as we would like yeah. Yeah. on this season. So it's, um, it's absolutely amazing that we're back with our yeah. family from TV. And, and, and I, again, it's, I'm excited you guys are back with WeTV. And to me, it's the word I describe your your show is authentic because some of these shows can be fabricated just so they can create mm-hmm. things that's going on so that they can go viral. So people want to tune in. Ooh, what's going to happen next? Right. But what we see right. is what we get from you guys, and we can relate yeah. to it on every level. But has there ever been a moment where mm-hmm. you were like, ooh, maybe we shouldn't have said that, or can we take that back? Has there ever been a moment of that? No. No. Uh, no. Okay. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, um, nah. No, not for me either. I just think that, um, you know, when we look back on it, we can grow from it, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and at that particular moment, if we said it, then that's how we were feeling at that moment. And I wouldn't take that back. Okay. I like that. I also, um, this whole situation with my man, Von Scales, you know what I mean? There's a situation where people are going and going commenting and saying, like, what is he talking about? His feelings about you and about the way you 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 just shared your emotions about your sister and how it compared to your ex, right? How do you feel and how do you guys handle that situation when you get that feedback? Or do you even bother reading it? Well, the thing is, people put a period where there was a comma. Okay. And 
you know, the, the, there was a commercial in between and I, I did talk about my grieving process, but I also talked about how my husband was there for me. Mm-hmm. I also talked about how, you know, I loved him on purpose and I love him on purpose, mm-hmm. but people just tend to just hold on to one statement. And the reality of the situation is Bon and I, we are great. We are good. Mm-hmm. And we have an amazing relationship. He has been my rock, you know, where maybe some other men couldn't have been. Okay. And I, I love him for the man that he is. I love the, for, I love him for the man he continues to be. And if people want to judge that, that's on them. But I am going to continue on with my amazing relationship. And th- this is my relationship. You yeah. can judge on it however you want to. Yeah. And you have that right because we put ourselves in that position by being on television. And whether it's a significant other or if it's someone saying things about you guys' as family as a whole, do you guys ever sit down and be like, yo, what are we going to do about this? Or do you kind of just brush it off? Because people are going to be people. Sometimes people want to say what they want to say just right. to be heard, right? Yeah, so do you, is it easy to brush that off? No, what it's you? not. It's not. It's not. But you have to take it in stride. This is a position we chose to be in. And people are always going to comment on our lives, good, bad, right, wrong, or indifferent. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Because when you're on television, you know, people feel like they have a right to say or make a comment on things based on what you say. Uh, But you have to take it in stride. Tawanda, what do you say about that? I was going to say, I don't allow people to have that much control over my emotions. I don't have a problem with with blocking and Mm -hmm. deleting people. Okay. You know, and my theory is if you can't, if you're not vibrating up with me, then you have to vibrate out. Mm, I like that. Uh, And to me, that's how, that's how you stay healthy, especially mentally when it comes to situations like that. You have to. So the Braxton. And I had to, I had to tell Vaughn, don't read the comments. Don't, I tell him all the time. I, I never read comments. I just don't. I mean, you know, we do what we do, right? We say what we say and we're just being honest. And if we're honest with ourselves, man, I don't care what somebody else has to say. But some people just at, at love all. to read. Yeah, yeah. So here we but are. He's also, new, he's also new to this, and he has to trust me. Uh-huh. And a, a part of that is him being, him having to be able to trust me in this space and in this arena. Mm-hmm. You know, you've been in this industry for a very, very, very long time. The Braxons, we've been in this industry for a very, very, very long time. Vaughn is very, very new to this industry, and he has to be able to trust me and I have to be able to protect him in that space as well. Yeah, that is so true. So now, we TV that made it happen. The Braxtons are back. When I think about like, the conversations we're having, I would love the fact, and this may be something that's on the table already, to see you guys out touring again, or maybe even possibly as a family, going into different venues, smaller venues, having conversations like this with people. You know, are you guys open to something like that, like a seminar type thing, or maybe even back on stage Absolutely. singing? Yeah, I think that would be that's awesome. Absolutely. Good idea. Well, you know, I Absolutely. put my name on that one. You know, Thank you. That's hilarious. Right. You know, having different you know, retreats. Don't get a <laughs> nope. That, nope. We have, we, my, my honey and I are uh, certified life coaches. And we honestly, we um, have been working on getting the calendar together for 2025. That's good. That's good. Um, to do different retreats for, for couples with individuals who wants to improve or have a different perspective on their lives yeah i love that idea because I, I see that when i'm watching it i'm like man they could totally do this and people would love would love to tap in and just have those yeah. type of conversations and share what's going yeah. on within their lives yeah yeah it's healthy yeah and yeah. health is wealth we already know that absolutely and romeo i do know that you recently had a loss in your family and i'm sorry for your loss as well yeah so i know that you can look at our show and you can resonate with some of the things that we're going through and i do want to say that i'm sorry for your loss as well oh uh, yeah me too um thank you for those kind words i mean i think about my mother every day i mean it's just so hard you know but i know she's with me in spirit but to see Come her on. go through that to see her go through that i was like mm-hmm. you know I just I would I never want anyone to have to go through that, but it's life. It's part of life, right? right? So it we is, have to learn to accept that. Is. You know. So. Yeah. And you know, one one of the things you know about the show that I want people to understand, and I know that right now that's not what people want to hear, but it's absolutely the truth. That sometimes people pray, you know, God heal my family, heal this person in my life, and sometimes death it, death comes in the form of healing. Yes. 
Yes. And you don't want that person to continue to go through, you know, the hurt and the despair and the pain. Yeah. And even though it hurts us to see them leave this earth and to, to leave this life, sometimes death is a form of healing. And in that healing process, you have to allow yourself to grieve. I, I you have agree. To allow yourself to not be okay. Yeah, I agree. Look, my dad left when I was three, so my mom was everything to me. So to see yes. her to be a shell of what she once was mm -hmm. tortured me more than anything. And even though it was hard to let her go, I know she's in a better place. But I do appreciate you guys' kind words. And KD Nation, y'all got to make First. sure y'all tap in. We TV is what the Brax is back. And I'm looking forward to y'all to yes. come to L.A. soon. I hope y'all shoot some episodes out here soon, too, though, all right? All okay. right. <laughs> thank you again. Look, sis, I love you. Tawanda, thank you for just being you. And I look forward to watching the next episode on We TV.